Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So after completing the first boss battle, uh, if you wander around the ancient battlefield and proceed to the second area, there will be another red exclamation part where you can fight the second encounter battle. Now just as a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Also I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me that way. So, um, again, like I mentioned in the first video, it looks like uh, Garyu and his overconfidence is quite noticeable. However, I will say that uh, the ancient battlefield as one of the backdrops for these encounter battles is perfect for him, being that it's kind of ominous um, and, you know, creepy, shall I say. So, our um, mystery sorcerer is back at it again. And this time, we are hunting down the heart of the um, Ember Dragon. And so he shed some light on the situation in that, of course, um, being that fire elementals power uh, fire, and since the uh, ancient times have lost fire salamander uh, back in part one of the story, we have to reanimate this Ember Dragon, and it's going to be a little bit tougher. Now, to fight this particular uh, version of the boss, it's now merged with the first version that you fought. So not only Bones, which was weak to Blunt, of course, but this is the heart um, of the dragon. All right, so it starts off with an automatic power debuff. Uh, nothing you can do about that. So this battle will be a little bit longer uh, than your typical um, you know, boss fight. And again, being that I'm just going in blind, I'm just using my regular um, you know, moves and regular party for now. So you can see that the first attack was not only 1000 anymore, it's a little bit stronger, 1500 fixed damage AoE. And no weaknesses that I can see, so last time it was weak to blunt, um, this time it looks like no weaknesses or resistance that I can see, and also I'm still using my fire team. That being said, if I were to do this battle again, I think I would bring Annabelle into this party. I'm going to probably switch in Annabelle from Aldo uh, to give ourselves a little bit more of a power debuff, uh, being that the enemies and the boss seems to have a lot more physical attacks and doesn't look like a lot of magical attacks yet. Now, Gary does have that Fiendish Flame, which does do a 15% power debuff. The problem is that it misses quite a bit more often than Annabelle's Deliverance Sword, and we all know that Annabelle's Deliverance Sword is already um, not too dependable. So if you have a dedicated power debuff um, character, that'd be perfect. All the other moves are in a fixed 4 turn rotation, so very similar to the first battle, except that it does a lot more damage. Instead of the low 200s, we're talking close to 1000 damage, and the pain status is annoying as well. Now, again, don't make the same mistake I did. Note that I did a, do a full AF bar here, and there's a 50% HP stopper, so that's not very useful. And now it roars again, but the resistances have now changed. It is now weak to pierce, and still not resistant to anything else. So having Seti on your team, or of course if you have Joker or anything like that, I think Joker would be perfect in that it's got the uh, triple burst, and when you come in with the AoE, it will do, I mean uh, the AF. It'll do a two times hit, and being that the enemy at the second part of the battle is weak to pierce, you'll get six hits in, which will power up your AF bar like no tomorrow. Otherwise, it's just uh, mitigating damage. Like I said, um, bring a power debuffer if you can handle it. I still think that a mix of four and five stars on this team should be sufficient to end this battle. But like I said, you can see that Garyu does take a lot more damage, and keep in mind that Garyu must be in your party for all five of these encounter battles. Which is why I went with an all-fire team, uh, being that there is some synergy. Of course, if you brought an all-mage team, you wouldn't have to worry about the turn one uh, power down. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I have not, ex uh, I guess, uh, experimented with an all-mage team. My preferential team in general is usually all physical fighters with one healer. Um, and I usually bring a team like that for almost all uh, new boss battles unless something goes terribly wrong, in which case I have to redo the battle with um, you know, a different strategy. 
So I hope you don't uh, mind that I'm being a little bit inelegant in the battle, uh, being that I'm just trying it out for the first time. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. I'm not in any real danger of dying, but I will say I didn't end it as quickly as I could have. At least you get to see all the different moves and forms so that uh, you're well prepared. Now one thing I didn't mention is that in the second form, although it is weak to pierce, it also has power buffed itself, so its physical attacks are going to do significantly more damage, and this team is not well equipped to uh, power debuff unfortunately. So you can see that Sukiya got hit for over 2000 damage, and then the pain status did 500 damage to her. Uh, most katana users don't have a lot of uh, physical defense anyways. Alright, we still won, and a uh, good thing is that I powered up my AF bar to a half bar for the third battle as well, which is not too bad. So even though the two parts have merged, uh, heart and bones, nothing too difficult at this stage. And our friend Garyu is getting a little bit impatient as to what's the holdup of unlocking all its uh, you know, potential in having his zone as well as his AS form. I guess we'll have to do another three battles and wait and see what goes on. I will say that the sorcerer here is very surprised that our team has beaten these two forms very easily. Which only shows that the next three battles should be a step up from these first two battles. If the first two battles are any indication, uh, I'm guessing that the moves are going to be very similar, except the damage will be a lot uh, more, which is why I'm thinking about bringing in Annabelle. So I guess in the third battle, we will wait and see to see if that strategy holds up, or if I'll have to switch teams. At the end of this um, second battle, uh, the sorcerer does mention that we have to wander around uh, the ancient battlefield and gather some sort of fire elementals. So um, after this video is up, I'll do that part and the third battle and combine those two into one video altogether so that I can show you what to do uh, once you finish these first two battles. Alright, there you have it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.